Girl Shots. It's your girl, Told You Now. I'm back with another motherfucking video for y'all today. Yeah. And I'm actually back today just to do some quick little eye makeup with you guys. And I am going to give you guys a live update. Um, as you can see, I'm in my own room. Yes, guys, I actually have a room now. I'm not in that little bitty bathroom where I couldn't move around and do things. I had to be very particular in a very small space. It was just really extra for me. So... I'm gonna get right into everything for you guys. Like, y'all, my life today is popping. All right, guys, so as I said before, I'm gonna be doing makeup today. So, I'm just gonna be doing eyelash, eyelashes. I'm just gonna be doing um, eyeshadow. I don't know what's going on in my memory. Like, every time I say something, y'all, like, I will have the whole sentence in my head, and then, like, as I'm saying it, I say the complete wrong thing. Like, the fuck? But yes, <laughs> so as you guys can see, like I said, I'm in my room. Um, I'm just gonna be doing some makeup for you guys, give you a little life update, and just give y'all information why I haven't been filming much, why I've um, only uploaded my most recent video, which was my relocating video of me moving. I moved to Florida, guys. If you guys haven't watched that video, link will definitely be down below so you can see it. Um, it was a big step for me. It was the biggest step I've ever actually made personally, like growing up as far as like being an adult. That's just like the first big adult decision I have made. I'm um, very happy about it. But today's look is gonna be a very cute look I've seen on Nikita Dragon. Um, they didn't use the exact palette that I'm using, but I'm more than sure that James Charles palette has the exact same, well not the exact same, but very similar colors to the new Morphe Pride palette that is out now. You guys go get that. I'm gonna actually link that link below. I'm not gonna be using that palette, but um, that's where my look came from, from the Nikita Dragon and the Brit Men Rock video that they recently uploaded on Morphe. Um, I love the look that she chose, so I was like, I'm not gonna try to redo it and recreate because it's cute. So it's a very simple look. Um, nothing crazy, nothing wild, but I'm jumping straight into this video with y'all because I be rambling a lot and I don't like it. All right, so just to start off, I'm gonna um base my eyes with some LA Pro Girl, oh, LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Conceal in a color on for eyeshadow primer. But yes, so my life update. Ah, oh. okay, so. So, um, I don't know where to start. Okay, let's just start with me moving because that's already a video that's out, so I can start with that. Um, let's start with moving. Okay, so I moved June, uh, June 1st, I would have to say it was, or June, it was, I think it was June 1st. No, it was June 2nd. I moved June 2nd. Me and my boyfriend moved to Florida. We actually drove here, y'all. That drive was a fucking killer, okay? That drive was insane, okay? First and foremost, that drive was so long. I don't think I'll ever, I'm not gonna be a road trip type of girl, ever. Like, I don't think that's ever gonna be my thing. Um, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to like, um, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to like cars. So I feel like long distance driving just is not for me at all. But um, yeah, so me and my boyfriend moved and got an apartment. As you guys can see, I'm in my room. It feels so good to just be able to film and not have like background noise. I love my family, don't get me wrong, but they are very loud. And I take my YouTube very serious. And I personally feel like I shouldn't have been able to film without all the extra noise. But at the same time, you can't control all them kids <laughs> i'm so talking to you that now i can actually finally just film without so much interruption i'm so happy that i can just film without interruption i got my own apartment i have a two-bedroom apartment it is the fucking bomb period i'm gonna give y'all a uh, unfurnished house where it's kind of it's not really unfurnished because i actually have my bed and i have a couch so it's not really unfurnished but it's not technically furnished it's just like a we can call it unfurnished because she's not even all the way together. 
so yeah so i um i'm gonna of course do an apartment tour i wanted to do a french apartment tour but honestly i now being in the position that most youtubers are in you know moving and doing stuff like that like can truly see like i see why they don't be doing their furnished tours like even though you know i don't have bread to like just buy a whole bunch of furniture but it's like it takes time like it really takes a lot of time to furnish them life has been actually really great to me the month of june so far has been a golden month thank the lord i can do nothing but thank god all is possible through him um i found a church out here that me and my are attending which is beautiful um it's just like i can honestly just say that my move was one of the smartest things that i have done like it's hard to leave your family and it's also hard to have your own life like outside of your family like me personally speaking like how i was always babysitting or i was always doing something but like to where i couldn't really focus on me or what i wanted to do personally not that it was a problem because you know these things i could easily said no so it's like i'm glad that i have the opportunity to branch out from my family because i was always anchored by them like they definitely like i would without a problem just be there and put what i needed to do or what i wanted to do on the back burner and it's just like you know as an adult you can't really live like that because if you live like that then it's like well what if my mom decides that she wants to pick up and leave and move and then what am i gonna do i'm just I commend myself for making the executive decision to move because if I did it, I would probably be unhappy with myself because I could be doing way more of myself that I didn't want to do. With that, I could be doing way more. I could have been doing way more of myself that I wanted to do that I wasn't doing because I was more so focused on my family. So for this, I almost threw him across the room. Oh my God. So for this, video i'm gonna be using the james charles palette y'all already know it's my new favorite palette so it's like the only one i touch these days <laughs> but yes i barely been in it because i don't want to go crazy in it but at the same time i do it's just like slightly crazy nothing to uh florida period florida is a great place like i mean don't get me wrong it's very freaking hot it, it rains like i'm in a tropical freaking rainforest or something it rains so much out here but it's definitely worth it like the trip was definitely worth the results like coming here yeah. like, there's an alligator in our apartment pond one day i'm gonna have to go out there and see if i can catch him i actually did catch him i might insert a little clip here oh his his, his shits won't out at first he was, he was not out at first. look yes they was but he was just swimming shit on his head too he don't care bro Whoa, he came over to get some pictures. I think he liked the attention. Yeah. You better hurry up because he's about to go under. Uh, I got a good video already. I did too. I'm just getting more. I'm going to insert a little clip to show you guys that little dude. But yeah, guys, like, I am very happy with my choice to move. I. I'm happy with my choice to be an adult. Like, you know, as a kid, you always say, I can't wait to grow up, I can't wait to grow up, I can't wait to grow up. And then now being grown up, it's like, damn, I wish I could be a kid again. <laughs> it's like, damn, I'm a kid again because like, it's a lot of stress, it's a lot of work, but I feel like if you really determine to do something and really want something and want to get somewhere, you can and will. Period. Like, I am a person that tends to overstress a lot. And one thing that this move has taught me is just to put all my faith in God and, and know, like, okay, yeah, I'm not, you know, everything ain't exactly, like, you know, I'm not moving with, like, billions of dollars or, like, hella saved up or something like that. It's like, when you take a risk to do something... You got to have faith in God because that thing could go downhill, like, fast. I personally feel like having faith in God through everything you do is most important because 
if you don't, you just really nilly and then not to that team, you're not gonna succeed in whatever it is that you call yourself doing. Because you know, I came from Virginia and I don't know why, but in Virginia it is just like so hard for people to make it. Like I see why all of the singers that are from Virginia and things like that, I see why they move. Like because you know, yeah, they from Virginia, all that good stuff, yeah. But if they stay there to try to further their career or do anything, they're not going to make it. Because Virginia is just like, mm -mm. my advice to anybody that's like an up and coming Virginia rapper or anything like that, get out. Go somewhere where you can properly, you know, grow and just manifest. Like, I really moved for opportunity because I personally felt like living in Virginia was enough opportunity. Like, uh, I've been moved out of my mom's house basically since I was 18, okay? And since I was 18 up to, to now, which is, I'm 22 now. So since then, not saying it's to, you know, just blur out my business, but I just, since then, I've pretty much been homeless like three times since I basically moved out of my house, mom's house back and forth. And each time, you know, it's because I was trying to get an apartment or I was trying to find somewhere to live and you know what I'm saying I did applications and um application fees and all this stuff like that working my butt off to still get the same result of nothing and it's like I'm not that type of person where it's like oh la, 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 la. no like it's just the truth like I definitely tried to do I definitely tried to keep up with jobs there I definitely tried to maintain having a living situation there, all this stuff, but you, if the opportunity is not there, you can't take it. Like, there's too many guidelines, it's too many restrictions on things people can do there, and it just sucks. Cause like, first try, you know, I'm getting jobs, I'm getting apartments, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I would, I'm very thankful that I was blessed with this opportunity to move and to, be able to grow as just a woman period you never like i said it's just one of those things where it's like when you take a leap you just never know how things are gonna go and instead of me allowing that mindset like oh i don't know how things are gonna go to affect how i'm carrying things or how i'm reflecting things i'm not allowing that to control what i want to do and how i want to progress because if i do i'm not gonna get anywhere Let's just put it like that. I'm not going to get anywhere. If I think like, oh, I don't have this or I don't have that. Like, I really just took a leap. And I'm like, I have faith. Yeah, I don't have this, but God got me. Period. Like, that's how I see it. Like, you know, sometimes God puts you through hardships to prepare you for the things that he has for you. And I'll honestly say God didn't allow me to get an apartment in Virginia because I wasn't meant to be there. But like, period. Like, not like like period but like i'm not i wasn't meant to grow there i wasn't meant to like prosper there sometimes people are put in places okay yeah you live here you live here all your life but nothing goes right for you You're living in that place all your life and then the moment you move everything is just amazing and i personally feel like that's how things happen for me in virginia everything wasn't good like can't even cap it everything wasn't good living there but the moment I moved, I'm okay. I'm working, I'm fed, I'm housed, I'm housed. I have a home. I am, I have a more quiet place to film my videos. I'm trying to be more productive when it comes to YouTube because I really want to um, be a social media influencer and I really want to like grow my social media presence period and I'm not even for the lot y'all it has been very 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 challenging for me personally because it's hard coming from fresh Instagram followers fresh you know what I'm saying subscribers and only having a certain amount of subscribers a little bit of subscribers at that and wanting to have so much success like I'm not as consistent as I can be that's true something I'm working on. I'm just keeping my faith because it's like, I don't want to give up. And then I give up and then all I had to do was be consistent and I could have been good. Actually, 
trying to i want to learn how to drive guys like i said like i'm taking things in my life like literally one step at a time because i don't know like i don't want to feel like i'm rushing myself too much because a lot of stuff that i don't know that i want to learn but i'm not the type of person where i can like jump into things and things will just be what it is like no i have to actually study for stuff and get stuff down and stuff so I want to learn how to drive, so I want to start studying for my permit test. But it's different now because I live in a whole different state. So it's like a whole different manual, and it's like everything is just different here. So definitely trying to learn how to. Um, definitely want to learn how to drive. Definitely want to just educate myself more on the area that I'm living in. And continue to grow and prosper like that's my thing like i have i'm on a growth journey that's what i'm going to call this right now like what i'm speaking about it's my growth journey like i have to have like faith i just have to have faith that everything's gonna be okay because if i just go off of thinking how stuff's gonna be you ask me oh, what do i think or what i think is gonna happen or i don't know i don't have an answer I have no idea i don't i don't know i haven't really thought about much other than the simple fact that i was going to move and take that leap in leaps you have to have faith in something like i know not everybody's like a christian or whatever or everybody's like religious or whatever whatever you have to have some type of faith in something to give you like mental stability i constantly want to keep myself motivated but it's hard to keep yourself motivated when you are working a lot and you're trying to make sure all your ends are meeting and everything is going good for you like me like i said i want to be a social media influencer but i'm not personally in that light where i could just just be a social media influencer i have to work i have to pay my bills i have to do all types of crazy shit that I'm not gonna say that's preventing me, but that is kind of like molding out my situation. Like I can't do everything that I really truly truly want to do as far as like my social media and stuff. Because like I don't have that time in my days. Like I do need to start waking up a little bit earlier so that I can have more time in my days. But I really don't have that extra time in my days. So it's like like as far as like taking pictures and stuff go, like being just more social media present, period. Like I really wanna like I started a, a schedule for my YouTube, but my schedule slowly but surely fell off, not because I didn't want it to work out, but because I just became so busy. Like I ended up getting in the moving process. I ended up having to um, pack up my U-Haul truck and move in and moving this up into my apartment oh my god that was hell it was just like so many things going on that i felt like hindered me from just focusing on being socially present i'm i don't want to say i'm making excuses for myself because i'm not definitely not trying to do that but i definitely want to work on being more precise when i say stuff doing it and setting a set filming time and setting a set um upload time and just keeping y'all more here with me because got my toe stops and i don't want y'all to like not be interested in what i got going on because i'm not here you know so, i definitely want to just be more present and for sure like do more just do more as far as my channel goes but this is what I want. This is what I want. Like, it's very stressful, but this is 110,000 million percent what I want. Like, I want to be stressed by YouTube. Like, I want that YouTube stress. Because I also want that YouTube chat. You need me. Like, a lot of people just start YouTube because, um, a lot of people just start YouTube because they know, like, eventually you get paid well. Well, now, YouTube then caught on to that. So, all y'all people that just want the money messed up the you didn't really mess up but definitely made it more challenging to become a youtuber because 
YouTube is hip to y'all bullshit. So now that YouTube is hip to the BS, they're gonna make it harder to become a paid YouTuber. Hint, hint, while I'm here now. It's harder, like the guidelines is, <laughs> the guidelines is, <laughs> you hear me? They are stupid to me. If you ask me, it's like, oh, 4,000 subscribers, da, 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 da. Or no, it's 4,000 hours of watch time and or a thousand subscribers in order to be monetized and be getting paid for your revenue. It's hard to get that many subscribers and or watch time. Well, not really so much as a watch time because people watch YouTube all day. It's just like having the content to achieve that watch time. That's why I have to be more consistent because the more consistent I am, the more what time I get. So far, I'm feeling this look. Um, like I say, this is just a Nikita Dragon inspired look. I'm definitely not doing the exact same look as she did, but I um, definitely am inspired by her look. So I'm just gonna go in here at the bottom so I can color this in with my red shadow. This is really all about wanting more. Like, I really want more, like, and I really truly feel like once I get a little, I'm working on getting more motivated and motivating myself more so because I have those days where I just really sit around and think like, oh, I could be doing this, but I'm not. Oh, I could be doing that, but I'm not. Watching YouTube and seeing people say like, oh, it's hard to be motivated. Oh, it's much harder than y'all think. Or this job is not all of what y'all think it is. And y'all put it to be this, that, and that. And it's really true. Like... All that stuff is true. It's not what people think. Like, YouTube is definitely not what people think. I would definitely say it's what you make it, but it's not what most people think. Most people think YouTube is just picking up a camera and talking, or just picking up a camera and doing something. For some people, that's all it is because it's that simple. You know what I'm saying? For some people, I'm not trying to be in a hard way, but mostly people with like money, people that do have YouTube, they have like a really big social media following like me i'm starting everything from the jump because i really want to i don't want to say i want to recreate myself but i really want to brand myself and you know put who i am into the world like because i'm an awesome person like i feel like i want to be more like a mogul because i want to be able to help people i want to be able to have that advantage to travel to third, you know, say, to countries where people don't have stuff and fall out. I want to be able to build like, you know, water systems for people that don't have clean water. I want to be able to do all things that people with money don't do. I want to. Like, and that's just really my main thing about like getting money like a lot of people i want to live comfortably and i want to be able to have what i want to have or do what i want to do yeah of course but i really want to get out there to be able to give back to people that I don't have because like i said before i was put in a position where i didn't have like at all like begging people or even my managers like at work begging them to like let me get free food or like buy me food uh, begging to give me like free food or like buy me food so that like i would eat that day or something like that like it really is one of those things where it's like i've been through the ultimate struggle so i want to help and prevent many people from ultimately struggling as much as i had to my goals and my vision is not selfish at all in any no type of way. Like, I want to be, I feel like, me, as talented as I am, and no, I'm not a singer, you know, I can dance, but I'm not a dancer. Like, I just have a personality that I know I can grow and progress off of. And, it's, and that's another thing too. It's like, I have all this personality. It's hard for me to transfer that onto the camera. Like I'm very goofy in my videos, but it's very, very hard for me to transfer my goofiness into videos because it's like, I don't really know, you know? I just really, it's just lots of stuff that I should be doing as the eldest of five, 
more so that I'm not. Not because I can't, but because it's just like the positions I'm putting in life right now. I want to grow my social media so that I can provide for my family, so I can do more, so I can live comfortably, so I can actually not have to worry about, oh, when's my next meal or, you know what I'm saying? Having to even think twice about a phone bill or anything, like just having worry-free life would be awesome, okay? It would be awesome. And that's my goal, like that's all I want. Like I just want to just be happy and worry-free. All right, so I just had to clean up my makeup a little bit. But this is going to be my eyeshadow look for today. I was gonna put on some lashes, but I got another video coming for y'all too. I'm about to double record, so. Thank you guys so much for watching Sugar Tooch. And this was my life update slash chit chat slash eyeshadow tutorial look, whatever. By the way, the colors that I used in this look before I, of course, close out are this color, this color, and that color. These are the only three colors I have on my eyes right now, and they are booming. I just put some I I almost say shadow mascara on my eyes. This mascara is the color is Beyond Big Super Fiber Mascara. I've never used fiber mascara before. It's supposed to help your eyelashes grow and just look more um, voluminous, I guess. But uh, personally, I mean, y'all tell me. I mean, I don't really think it does that, but I feel like whatever <laughs> when it comes to that. So. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, thanks for supporting me and thanks for being here with me and allowing me to talk to you guys because I'm a touch that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.